Our Changing Earth, The Forces of Weathering and Erosion. What is weathering? Well, it's a force strong enough to wear large holes and arches in rocks. Pretty strong, huh? It has created some of the most beautiful scenes on Earth. as well as some of the most famous places to visit. Weathering happens to the Earth's surface when wind, water, And the processes of freezing and thawing work away and wear away at rocks and soil over a long period of time, sometimes with tremendous force. Often with a force great enough to break apart large boulders. Weathering is a force so powerful, it can cause large rocks to break apart from the mountainside and be pulled down by gravity. Weathering is usually a very slow process, but it has been busy for millions of years, shaping and sculpting the earth as we see it today. and mountains, blowing sand, small rocks, and soil against them with such force. It is as if a giant piece of sandpaper is scrubbing and scraping their surface away. Some rock types are harder and resist weathering better than rocks made of softer materials, which is why we see such interesting shapes carved in rocks, cliffs, and mountainsides. Erosion is the moving of rocks and soil from one place to another, usually by the force of water. The force of moving water is one of the most powerful forces on Earth. Moving water carries with it rocks, soil, and debris that not only changes the shape of the land where it started, but can also change the land over which it flows. Moving water often leaves large rocks in the place where it stops flowing. Stream bank erosion is a common sight, especially on farms, where the stream bed gets wider as time goes by, but the crop fields get smaller as the water washes away the soil. The forces of weathering and erosion are so great that over millions of years they can carve out large canyons. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is a majestic example of just how powerful weathering and erosion can be. Millions of years of weathering and erosion by the Colorado River chiseled out this 277-mile natural wonder. In coastal areas, the force of the ocean's powerful waves slamming against the shoreline 
has caused a serious problem called beach erosion. Along the coast of North Carolina, we find Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, the world's tallest brick lighthouse. Erosion has caused many problems for Cape Hatteras. The force of the salty ocean waves crashing into and eroding the seashore has created the need for the lighthouse to be moved 1,600 feet away from the edge of the ocean. Cape Hatteras is now a National Historic Landmark. Beach erosion following hurricanes and tropical storms has washed away the land on which huge condominiums, hotels, and homes are built. This can be a very destructive force, causing millions of dollars each year in damage and property loss. Perhaps you or someone you know has experienced problems because of erosion. Erosion doesn't just occur on beaches. Erosion occurs everywhere. It can happen anywhere the forces of nature wear away the land. It can happen slowly over many years or suddenly as a result of heavy rains or flooding. Standing 750 feet tall, the Great Sand Dunes, the tallest dunes in North America, form a national park in southwestern Colorado. They are a result of weathering and wind erosion. The Sangre de Cristo mountain range acts as a barrier for sand that is picked up and carried by wind. Nature has dropped the sand at the base of these mountains for millions of years, forming this amazing park visited by thousands of people each year. Creating great beauty and sometimes causing massive destruction, weathering and erosion are powerful forces of change. Look around. Where do you see the evidence of weathering and erosion?